Okay, Lou Depot back here with a few more home heating tips that'll help you out. And also um, a little trick on stopping uh, boiler short cycling because that actually wastes a lot of fuel also. So what we have here is number 14 where we left off. An outdoor reset. Now an outdoor reset is nothing more than a little gadget that sits on the north side of the house in the shade. That's very important so it can't be tricked by the sun. And what it does, it lets the boiler know what the temperature is outside compared to the temperature in, uh, that is inside. So if your wife is a little chilly, it's 64, 65 degrees out and she's chilly and she wants that comfortable 69 degrees, maybe 70. It knows it only has to make up a 5 degree difference. And with the warm water in the boiler... It may decide to just turn on the circulator pumps and say, we don't got to use any fuel. We can make up five degrees with 140 degree water that's in here now. And it holds the boiler from fire. And it takes over the aquastat and says, hold on, let's just circulate the water. So the outdoor reset is important because that, that really saves a lot of fuel. And then at the same time, it knows when it's zero degrees out outside and it needs to fire the boiler to full force. These boilers have a lot of muscle, but it's not always necessary to use it. And when it needs it, it uses it, but when it doesn't need it, it, it relaxes and it doesn't use the muscle. It uses it when necessary. Compared to the old-fashioned boilers without the outdoor reset, they have a lot of muscle, they use that muscle 100% of the time when it's not necessary. So that's important. And you guys with the cast iron boilers, it must automatically adjust the boiler firing differential. The boiler has a firing differential. For it to be effective, um, it's, it's got to have that option in it. And remember that um, it must adjust, automatically adjust the boiler's firing differential. In the aquastat, there's a high and a low, and there is a little dial, a differential dial. So it deals with that on its own. It's got its own little brain. Okay, so hopefully that'll help. Number 15, a two-stage thermostat almost does the same thing. What a two-stage thermostat does is, if you, if, of course, if you want heat, it'll turn on the circulator and pump the hot water around and give you heat. But the second thing it does is just like the outdoor reset. It knows if there's 140-degree water in there, it may not turn on the boiler. It may just pump the water around. But the second stage is Y to T and T on the boiler. It actually fires the boiler. And it may hold back and say, don't fire. Let's just pump the water around. Or, okay, it's necessary to fire. And it knows that by being at a set point of 70 and the temperature still dropping in the room, it'll kick in stage two on its own. So a two-stage thermostat will really help a lot also. And if your boiler is short cycling, on, off, on, off, on, off, and you can't stop it no matter what you do, a lot of times it could be the aquastat that's faulty. They usually have a 20 degree differential. Sometimes it's 15, so they fire and short cycle a lot. You can't really change that. There's a high and a low, but the low does not change the, the, the um, on, off, 180, 160. It's built into the boiler from the factory. But a hydraulic separator, Taco makes it, adds mass to the boiler, and then that does stop short cycling. Some plumbers will add a little buffer tank to do it also. But a hydraulic separator, you can Google it or go on Takeo's website. They have them. Home Depot doesn't have that, but Blackman has it. It's a little brass gadget. You pipe the water in and out of it again, and it adds mass to the boiler, and that'll stop a problem boiler from short cycling. Short cycling eats up a ton of fuel, and you don't want that on-off, on-off constantly all the time. So hopefully this will help you guys with that.